Hi, I'm Hartmut, and today we are going to take a look at how well the late 2015 mid-level notebook, the Lenovo IDPad Y700, performs in titles that have been released in the past two years, including some very recent games like PUBG, Fortnite and Far Cry 5. By the way, this won't be a general review of the Y700, as there are plenty of those on YouTube already. The model I use is equipped with a NVIDIA GeForce 960M, a Intel i5, 6300HQ, 8GB of RAM and an SSD with a capacity of 256GB. Please note that all games were tested in Full HD with a overclocked 960M and undervolted CPU to keep things cool and fast at the same time. I also have videos on how to overclock your laptop and how to undervolt it, so please check them out too. If you like this video, any thumbs up and subs are highly appreciated. Thank you very much. Now let's have a look at the benchmarks. I tried to run every game with medium settings if possible. Assassin's Creed Origins is a very demanding title, but I saw a very playable 41 FPS on average with medium settings, which is what I would call playable for a action RPG in single player. Battlefield 1 was also playable with around 42 FPS on average, even on a 64 player server. If you play competitive you might want to lower the settings or maybe even the resolution if you need much more than 60 FPS. Far Cry 5 is a very demanding and very new title but the Y700 was um, able to play it with 36 FPS on the lowest settings. Once again, in my opinion, playable for a single player. Fortnite performed pretty well, with an average of 48 on high settings. If you need 60 FPS or more, you can choose medium or low and you're good to go. I saw an average of around 50 FPS on PUBG. Once again, if you need more than 60 FPS, you should try to lower the resolution scaling to maybe 90% and should be good to go. The very beautiful ocean in Sea of Thieves was no problem for the 960M. I saw an average of 44 FPS on medium settings, which is called rare in this game. Wildlands achieved a playable 37 FPS with a mix of low to medium settings. If you want more than that, just go to low settings all the way or reduce the resolution scaling. Prey from 2017 isn't as hardware demanding as other AAA titles and so I was able to reach a stable 54 FPS on medium settings. I was able to play Mass Effect Andromeda with an average of 44 FPS, even though I had some drops to um, around the 20s, but as it is a single player only, I'd consider it still very playable. As expected, MOBAs like Dota 2 aren't any problem for this laptop, as I was able to reach an average of 76 frames per second with the highest settings. Probably the most creative walking simulator ever created is Edith Finch with a very playable average of 50 FPS on high settings. And last but not least, the indie space shooter Everspace was very playable at high settings with an average of 50 FPS. So in conclusion, I'd still consider the Lenovo Y700 as a good mid-range gaming laptop. You will be able to play any game out there, even though you won't be able to choose medium or high settings for every game, or maybe if you lower the resolution, you can do so. But if you can get your hands on uh, a used one for around 500 bucks, I would consider this a very good deal. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye.